see you today. Well, I know I'm not seeing you for real, but I am super excited to be recording a story time video for you for library time this week. It has been a crazy week in the neighborhood so far, but that's okay. Got lots to do, lots of inventory to do. Big word for just making sure we have all our books checked in. So speaking of that, if you have not turned in your textbooks yet, your social studies and your science, please <laughs> turn them in. We need them back, okay? Uh, so do your best to find them and do your best to turn them in as soon as you can, please, and thank you. All right, friends, so earlier this week, I sent out the Nugget and Fang video that I recorded last summer during COVID, and today we are gonna read, and the reason for that is because we're gonna read Nugget and Fang number two today uh, that I just bought a little while ago, so uh, I'm really excited to share it with you. Nugget and Fang are great, so if you liked the first video, I have no doubt in my mind you will like the second story. So here we go. Uh, let's not waste any time, shall we? So for story time today, we're going to read Nugget and Fang Go to School by Tammy Sauer. And of course, for story time, please don't thank you. I would love to see you watching eyes, listening ears, quiet voices, calm bodies, breathe in, breathe out. And of course, no, no, speaking. Finger licking. We need to have clean hands to touch books, laptops, and everything else, especially during COVID. It's a thing. It is keeping us clean and safe, my friends. Here we go. Nugget and Fang go to school. In the deep, deep ocean lived Nugget and Fang. Nugget was a minnow and Fang was a shark. They were the best of friends. Really? But we know that, don't we? We do. Whenever the other fish saw, sorry, whenever the other fish in the sea saw Fang, they would panic. Shark! Oh, my starfish! Swim for cover! But Nugget was always as cool as a sea cucumber. That's a real animal. Look it up. Sea cucumber. Don't worry, guys. Called Nugget, he's a vegetarian. And in case you don't know what a vegetarian is, that's somebody who does not eat meat, okay? See, said Fang, as he's chomping on some greenage. Most fish never stuck around long enough to find out for sure. Do you see this guy hiding down there, right? <laughs> he's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> there were, however, some tiny exceptions. The mini minnows. Fang once saved them from being the catch of the day. Ever since, he was their friend, too. In fact, Nugget and the rest of the mini minnows wanted Fang to attend Mini Minnows Elementary right along with them. Fang loved this idea. Oh, love Fang. Until his first day of school. It even says, welcome Fang, right on their sign. Fang had never gone to school before. Questions suddenly swirled inside his sharky head. What if school is too hard or weird or scary? I should go home, said Fang. I think I'm seasick. My skin is turning blue. Your skin's always blue, said Nugget. You'll be fine. Oh, poor guy, he's so nervous. When the first bell rang, Fang was not ready to go inside. Nugget grabbed him by the fin anyway. But what if I lose a tooth or two or twenty? What if I sit on a jellyfish? What if I get algae in my eye? What if I yawn and accidentally swallow someone? What if a whale accidentally swallows me? Whales don't even live around here, said Nugget. You'll be fine. Welcome to Minnie Minnow's Elementary, Fang, said the teacher. She looks crabby, whispered Fang. Shh, said Nugget, our teacher is nice. You'll be fine. <laughs> she looks crabby. Oh, yeah. But Fang wasn't fine. He wasn't fine in reading or math or science. School's just new to you, said Nugget. You'll get the hang of it, I promise. Let me guess, I'll be fine said Fang. Exactly, said Nugget. Look at he got a beaker stuck on his nose. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but Fang didn't think he'd ever be fine again. He wasn't fine in music. He wasn't fine in art. And he felt just plain terrible in the brief history of minnows. Fang was sure school couldn't get any worse. And basically, look, it shows that uh, shark with all the minnows inside of him in that picture. Oh, my goodness. He's right. Not a very good uh, showing for his uh, 
Sharks, huh? Mm. Then it did. At Minnie Minnows Elementary, we love to end the day with share time, the teacher told Fang. Each student gets to share something special with the class. Fang gulped. The last thing he wanted to do was get in front of everybody after the day he had just had. Have you ever felt like that? When you're just having a rough day and the last thing you want to do is share with people? Well, that's okay. I think that's kind of normal sometimes. And Fang totally gets it. Some of the mini minnows shared hobbies. Some shared talents. One even shared his pet rock, Bobo. <laughs> Then it was Fang's turn. He thought about telling a joke, but he couldn't think of anything funny. He thought about doing a cartwheel, but he didn't know how. He thought about how much he wished a whale would swallow him up right that very second. That's kind of like the saying, I wish the floor would swallow me up because you're so nervous and so embarrassed. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Then in the sea of faces, Fang noticed Nugget. Nugget was smiling. He was nodding. He was holding a sign. It said, Fang, our hero. Fang start stared at his friend. And for the first time all day, he felt fine. No, he felt better than fine. He felt fantastic. Fang had something very special to share. I have the best friend in the whole underwater world, he said. I wonder who he was talking about. <laughs> Clearly nuggets. This made a big splash with everyone, especially you know who. When the final bell rang, Fang was not ready to leave, but Nugget grabbed him by the fin anyway. In the deep, deep ocean lived Nugget and Fang. Nugget was a minnow and Fang was a shark. They were the best of friends. And there was nothing fishy about that. Mm -mm, not a thing. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. The end. Did you guys like that story? I hope you did. You know, this is a really good back to school book, which is kind of perfect to, the, to end the school year with because it kind of gets you thinking for next year. And since this video is gonna be on YouTube, you can watch this before your first day of school if you would like uh, to get you a little motivated for school, okay? Next year, next year already. Can you believe it? I cannot. All right, friends, so we are going to read, our next story that we are going to read is called Jack, Not Jackie by Erica Silverman. And this book uh, goes with what we call Pride Month. And that is something that we are celebrating. June is Pride Month. Um, and it's something that I've celebrated for years. And our school district is now um, celebrating it as well, which is very exciting because we want to celebrate all of our families, including those in the LGBTQ community. And so um, this is really all about acceptance, for accepting people for who they are, for who they love, even if it doesn't match with who we are and who we love. It is okay, okay? So that is the whole point of pride is accepting people who are different from you as wonderful people for accepting them for exactly who they are okay um and so uh let's go ahead and read jack not jackie and some examples of um some of our uh community members you know we might know people who um who have families with two mommies they have two daddies uh different families from ours and and that's okay and even sometimes there are brothers and sisters who we've known them as somebody's brother and sister uh but later on we might know them as the opposite okay and so that's what this book right here is about so here we go in celebration of pride 2021 uh 2021 it was weird that i said 2021 uh let's read jack not jackie here we go friends I hope you like it. It's a really good story. My sister Jackie has the best giggle. When she stares at me with her big round eyes, my heart feels bubbly. Oh, baby Jackie, I whisper. When you get bigger, we'll play in my tent. We'll twirl like forest fairies and we'll be explorers together. Jackie sleeps. Jackie eats. Jackie burps and hiccups. Boop. Sometimes mama lets me hold her. My sister giggles just for me. 
Jackie crawls everywhere. I say, let's be kitty cats. Meow, meow, meow. Woof, 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 says Jackie. I love that giggle of hers. Every day we play peekaboo. Boo, 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 says Jackie. One day she says, Susu. Mommy, Daddy, I shout, Jackie said my name. My name is really Susan, but now I like Susu too. Do your brother and sister have a nickname for you? Do you like it? Yes, no? It's okay either way. As soon as Jackie can walk, she runs. Don't fall, Jackie. Good thing she loves her dinosaur band-aids. My sister Jackie also loves mud. Mud puddles and mud pies. Mud, mud, mud. Ugh. Ugh. I don't think Susan's into the mud. What do you think? Yeah. Jackie, let's be forest fairies, I say, putting ribbons in her hair. Ew! She pulls them out. Never mind. We can be explorers then, I say. Jackie puts on her cape. She wears that silly cape everywhere. Explorers don't wear capes, I tell her. So what? I can fly. I can buzz. I am super bug. She jumps off the bed and whooshes away. For Jackie's birthday, Mama buys her a dress, but Jackie throws it on the floor and cries. Hmm, Daddy says, rubbing his chin. Someone does not like her new dress. That's okay. She can wear whatever feels right, says Mama. And that's true. You can wear whatever feels right to you. Jackie puts on Daddy's hat and his vest. She rubs her chin and says, hmm, just like Daddy, I say, only smaller. Jackie giggles. When we go shopping for clothes, Jackie runs to the boys' section. No, not there, Jackie, I shout, over here. But Jackie picks out shorts and a shirt and a baseball cap and a tie. No ties, I say, snatching it from her. Jackie grabs it back, mine. But ties are for boys, I say. We wear what feels right, says Mama, remember? But it's wrong, I say. Not wrong, Susu, says Mama, just different. And that's true. Jackie wears her new baseball cap to the park. While I swing on the monkey bars, Jackie plays with a boy in the sandbox. Together they push the little cars over bumpy roads. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Time to go, calls Daddy. Bye, Roy, says Jackie, waving to her friend. Bye, Jack, calls the boy. Jack? But your name is, no, 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 Jackie yells, then covers her ears and sticks her tongue out at me. Mm. Have you ever done that when you don't like something? Yeah, same for, same for them. Absolutely. We all walk slowly, Daddy, Jackie, Mama, and me. Nobody says anything all the way home. On haircut day, I go first. Not too much, Mama. I like it swingy. But Jackie says, more, more, more. So Mama cuts and cuts. Stop, Mama, stop, I shout. Now Jackie looks like a boy. Jackie says, I am a boy. Mama is quiet. Finally, she says, well, Jackie's been trying to tell us that for a long time. Jackie turns and walks over to me with big round eyes. Please call me Jack. But Jackie, you're my sister. No, Susu, I'm your brother. I don't want a brother, I shout. I want my sister back. And we both start to cry. I hide in my tent. I'm hiccuping and my tummy hurts. But then I remember when Jackie was a tiny hiccuping baby and Mama let me hold her. I pick up some crayons and two pieces of paper. I draw a picture of Jackie. And when I'm done, I draw a picture of Jack. Jackie and Jack. The same big round eyes, my sister, my brother, and it's okay either way. And little by little, my heart starts to feel bubbly again. And I open my tent flap and peek out and I see big round eyes staring back at me. Jack, I whisper, let's be super bugs together. You can wear your cape and your tie. My brother Jack has the best giggle. Mm -hmm.
The end. Okay. It is always good to be your authentic self. Do you have to be different? No. Do you have to be the same? No. Okay. Be authentically who you are and you will be accepted. Maybe not by everybody at first, but just like Susan. Okay. Uh, people need time for acceptance and time for change. And those are really big things to, to learn to accept, uh, acceptance and change. But um, just know that just because people make those decisions for themselves, it doesn't change anything for you other than maybe what you call them and other than maybe how you see them. But otherwise, the same heartbeat exists in them. And, you know, uh, it's really, it's really no different. It's no different. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. It really is. For people to be authentically themselves is a beautiful gift. And I hope you were always, no matter what walk of life you live, I hope you are always authentically you. And please know I will always accept you, no matter who you are, no matter what you choose to do, and no matter what life you live. Okay? All right, my friends. I love you always. And happy story time to you. I hope you enjoyed it. And while I won't see you next time, I've seen a lot of you around campus this week, which has been great. And I'll continue to see you through next week. Okay, friends? And I'll get story time out to you a little earlier next time. I'm so sorry. But until next time, enjoy your week. Be safe out there. Read some great new books. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.